morning and it's windy <laughs> bastard uh, is the wind gone yet morning guys <laughs> I do apologize I didn't pop a video last week did I so um sorry about that how are we all right I hope you've had a good week <coughs> thought I'd come and show you my woods. Scumbags with the money have moved in, I'm afraid. There's even more of it's fenced off now. Listen to the birds this morning, bloody lovely, isn't it? It's Ellie, I don't know where Ellie is. <laughs> oh, there she is. There she is over there, let me see. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's um, they moved in and started fencing it all off. So, some person has bought a huge chunk of it. Another chunk has got the footpaths through it as well. So, the bit that you guys were used to me walking through no longer available because somebody's bought it. And you can't go there because it's mine. Because I've bought it with all my money. So you can't enjoy it anymore. So that, eh, eh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. I just get upset because it's. I've been coming up here for so long. And now I can't come up here now. Well, I can, but. It's all, it's, it's all restrictive, isn't it? You know, you can't go on this bit and you can't go on that bit. And, do you know what I mean? Sorry if there's any wind noise, guys. Um, it is a bit breezy, I'm afraid. I didn't bring the mic. I left it in the car because I didn't think it was windy. Whatever. <laughs> <coughs> it's getting cold here now. Um, I think we've had one frost so far, but it's been down close to it. I think it was, um, I did a stealth the other night. It went down to uh, three degrees the other night. More padlocks on the gate, I noticed. So, um, maybe there's yet another piece of land been fenced off. <coughs> Not good, I'm afraid. Not good, I'm afraid. I think it's a crying shame when would, when people sell off stuff like this. I really do. Just go, just the beauty just gets all sold off. Nature gets sold off to the highest bidder. It's all about the money all the time. You can't go and enjoy it because it's all about the money. You can only enjoy it if you've got money, or well, so they think. Which is why they go and buy it. And then buy bits with the bloody, buy bits with put pass through it. They knew damn well people are going to walk through it. People walk through it and enjoy walking through it. And so they buy that bit on purpose, I expect. Because we don't want anybody to enjoy it, do we? Because it's mine. <laughs> Makes me feel sick. I hate it. <laughs> Sorry, I just made me feel sick. I think it's wrong. I hate money. <laughs> I do. I hate. I just hate what people do with it and what it makes people into. They become greedy. They become selfish. <clears throat> I'm telling you now, the less I've had, the happier I have become. <laughs> I've become so non-materialistic now. Well, apart from Sammy, of course. <laughs> That is that is a definitely a must. But um that was built by my fair hand. It wasn't um it wasn't bought and it was through a lot of help of you guys as well. You also helped me do it. With lots of help, so thank you very much. But yes. Money's not a good thing. I think it's um uh, money controls the world and it's it, all it is is a tool 
it's a tool to manipulate everyone isn't it you know apparently you can't have this and you can't have that if you haven't got any money and you think you know like food and warmth and um and a house do you know what i mean well a shelter then not necessarily a house i'm not putting price on things but, um, do you know what i mean I think I've done all these vids before, haven't I? You know, price of a lifestyle and all this sort of stuff. But God, it's so true. It really is. I just, um, unfortunately, I can feel it with people in here. The greed. It's just like, um, it's just like a dark knot in their gut that makes them impervious to anything and much else. They don't have a lot of humility for other people. They're quite selfish. Um, they're so completely driven by the idea of money. Um, do you know what I mean? The idea of money. Because money itself doesn't exist really, does it? It's, um, well, it created just a bit of paper, and it's um, it's a form of transaction, a form of barter. You know, that's it. That's all it is. It's a form of trade. But it, it's just become so much more than that to most ninety percent of the human population. <laughs> well, probably not as much as that. You know, it's like you see all these people. You see like these kids out abroad, and they haven't even got any water because of the likes of Nestle and people like that. Do you know what I mean? Do your research, I'm not gonna talk about it on here because it might not be advertiser friendly, might it? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yes, look. Look. See, look, footpath, right? That is definitely a footpath. Do you agree, right? Here, look, here. Through here, does this not look like a footpath to you? Now to me, a footpath is somebody that where some people have used their feet to walk through, hence a footpath, yeah? And um, it's no longer a no public right of way because it's not bought or it's not registered with um, land registry or councils and all the other rubbish. Do you know what I'm saying? Because every, every single piece of land, every millimetre in this country is now known by somebody. It wasn't like that, was it? Everybody, it was always down to everybody's got to own something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, everybody's got to own something. Well, it's all got to be owned. There's not a single piece... I don't think there's a single piece of land on this planet now that's not owned by some mug. <laughs> Including myself. Well, I don't own any land. I don't own anything. I don't own anything. I might pay a mortgage on my house, but um I don't own that. It belong that belongs to um that belongs to the uh, mortgage company. And even when I've paid it, I've then registered registered, which means you're giving the right to the land registry so um i think i've paid for it <laughs> stupid me um or i've paid for the right to sit on it <laughs> and uh, the land registry actually owns it all it belongs to the crown <laughs> people don't get it they don't understand if they wanted to if they wanted to take your house for, to put a motorway through the middle of it they could take your house by compulsory purchase because of the land registry and they could say we're having that and you could refuse to you weren't blue in the face but if they said they were going to do it they'd do it anyway and they'd give you a stupid amount of money and say right go on and off <laughs> they would I've seen it before not with really, not personally but you know it's happened with well motorways and shopping centers and um, who else? And 
I did hear a story. There was an old lady in a farm um, somewhere. I can't think where that was now. She, um, she had a small holding and um, they wanted to develop all the land. And um, old lady, mind you, sorry, wind. Old lady, which is about 80 odd. I think her husband had passed away. She lived in the farm on her own with her animals. And um, they took it by compulsory purchase. Give her a stupid bit of money and um, took her out and that was it. Developed it all. I can't remember where that was. <coughs> and um, yeah, she died shortly after. Stuck her in home. <laughs> disgusting, isn't it? Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. How you treat people in, in this world? That uh, makes me sick. <laughs> it does. <sighs> Sorry, guys, not mean to have him moan. See, look, look. Mr. Greedy's put his fencing up. Look, barbed wire fencing as well. Look, barbed wire fencing. You know, we we like eco-friendly fencing, don't we? Because we've got to keep the animals out. Look. Private woodland, no public right of way, see? And they've come right to the corner, look, because they don't want to lose any millimetres of land. They might actually lose a couple of millimetres had they not put the fence right to the edge. But it's a barbed wire fence. It's a barbed wire fence. You know, what, what about the deer that like coming through here? What about the other animals that go on and come through? And the deer gets all fouled up in the wire fence. Because you've got to keep out. Ooh. <laughs> Fine. See, I'm not going in there. Look, look, I'm out here. I'm this side of the barbed wire fence. <laughs> I'm just going to show you the... Um... Sorry, this is a long bit. Sorry, guys. I'm just getting it off my chest this morning. How much better we got battery? All right. Yeah, just getting it off my chest. So um, sorry. Not a useless, stupid sign. Look. See the wind's all picked up now. You ready? Look, there's bloody signs everywhere. Keep out! Keep out! Don't enjoy it. It's mine. Mine. Keep out. Not allowed to enjoy it because I've paid for it. It's mine. <laughs> My God, they certainly cleared a lot. I think they ca I think they bought it for the wood. I think they might have bought it through the wood because they've thinned all the trees out. Look, they started to thin the trees through. I think what they're going to do. This is going to, whoever's bought this is going to um, have all the trees out of it. Cut it up for logs or something. There's some really old trees over that side. I bet he cuts over down. I bet he does. I bet he cut all them down. All the ancient trees at that side. There's a lot of old ones up that side. Like old, um, whatever they are, I can't remember now. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, sorry guys, don't mean to have a moan. Don't mean to have a moan. It's not really good really, is it? Um, what you can see? Oh! Oh my god, they've even put up more! Oh, come on! I see what's happened. Somebody come. Somebody's thought the same as me. What the fuck? Sorry, my gimbal's just died. <laughs> Stupid thing. Um, they've re-cemented the posts. Look, they've re-cemented the posts. Somebody's come up here and knocked this fence down. They've also gone up through there because it's a footpath and somebody's put extra barbed wire on there because that wasn't there the other day and these 
they've concreted the posts in because that wasn't like that either that's very interesting so somebody else doesn't agree with it either then fair play good on you guys whoever you are <laughs> these scumbags that come around and buy everything up and think they have fucking own everything sorry I shouldn't be swearing should I I won't get monetization in this video <laughs> Yeah, somebody else has come up here and got rather cross, I think. Yeah, they, somebody's come and ripped this fence down, I reckon. They've barbed wire fenced all that. The footpath. It's a foot. It's a footpath. It's a footpath. I don't care if it's a bloody public right of way, but well, yeah, it is, isn't it? Just because it doesn't say so with the council, the fact that people use it that means it's public and it's a path so therefore it's a public path and they buy a piece of land with a public path running through it I think under common law I think that should be designated a footpath because it is one because I can see it and I used to walk on it Assholes. right sorry <laughs> um, Gimbal's died, so um, I'm having to hold you with my fingers. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, sorry, it's a bit of a waffle, guys. Just wanted to show you me wood. I thought it was a bit sad. Um, yeah, so uh, have a night, everybody. Get out in them woods and enjoy them, because you never know. You really never know. Some asswipe will come along and just buy it and help themselves to it. So, um, Enjoy your rest of your day, mate. Guys. <laughs> and um, see you next bit. And charge me gimbal. Oop, sorry.